All right, you heard it live first and exclusive. Farooq Abdullah speaks on Kashmir files. In fact, here's the interview with Raj Chengappa where you heard Farooq Abdullah saying that the film is far away from the truth. Kashmir files face off intensifies as we hear political reactions pouring in. Kashmir files film enemy number 1 Farooq Abdullah speaks up breaks the silence on India today. Farooq calls the 1990 exodus a conspiracy. Farooq has slammed Kashmir files uh, the movie calling it a propaganda. He says hang me if I'm found guilty. Remember there has been a lot of accusations allegations that the National Conference party could have prevented the genocide could have prevented uh, large scale killings of Kashmiri pundits at that time but they stayed mum during that entire genocide. This is the allegations that they've been receiving ever since the movie was released. Farooq Abdullah breaks his silence right here on India today in a first and exclusive conversation. Says the film is far away from the truth, while also saying that my heart bleeds for our pundits. Farooq Abdullah's version of the pundit exodus says that the film is an absolute propaganda, goes very far away from what was the real truth and reality, and also says that the real sacrifice of Muslims and Sikhs. due to militancy also has been completely ignored resulting in complete hatred towards one particular community this is the words of farooq abdullah as he speaks on the film kashmir files let me quickly cut across to sunil ji bhat joining us from jammu sunil ji bhat farooq abdullah there's been a lot of allegations ever since the film release that the national conference could have avoided the genocide they could have done something for the pandits but uh, here farooq abdullah breaking his silence first on india today says hang me if i am found guilty he speaks extensively in this exclusive interview about the sacrifices that his party members have made and also says that the film is just propaganda far away from reality Well Nabila it's not just after the release of this movie that uh, Farooq Abdullah has been facing very severe, uh, serious allegations in mm -hmm. fact many Kashmiri pandit organizations have been saying it for a long time that uh, it was the then Farooq Abdullah government between 1987 and uh, January 1990 that they did not take uh, enough action against the terrorists in fact the charges that the Farooq Abdullah government released 70 hardcore terrorists and later on they unleashed Uh, reign of terror they unleashed mayhem in the kashmir valley and the minuscule minority of the uh, kashmir valley that is the kashmiri pandits had to face the brunt of that violence uh, farooq abdullah has blamed uh, governor jagmohan for the exodus of the kashmiri pandits this mm -hmm. is the same kind of you know uh, theory that the separatists have been propagating for decades now even pakistan has been saying the same thing uh, but the fact of the matter is that, that the kashmiri pandits were driven out of their homes by the terrorists and there was mass frenzy at that point of time very poisonous slogans were raised against pandits they were threatened threatening letters were sent to them notices were pasted on their doors and very uh, i mean the atmosphere at that time was charged with communal overtones and that is the reason that the entire kashmiri pandit community had to leave their homes from the kashmir valley and they had to then seek refuge in different camps in jammu in delhi and elsewhere and they had to live right uh, give us an understanding a little more on what uh, uh, farooq abdullah kind of has said while he, while he speaks on the film and the allegations on him uh, he speaks extensively on, on how this film propagates um, in fact it pushes hatred towards a particular community he says that the film entirely ignores the sacrifices that muslims themselves made entire during the genocide that happened uh, six also have sacrificed their lives several pandits were also saved by the muslim community but none of that is reflected in that film it almost encourages hatred towards a particular community well nabila we have seen that in the past also many movies have been made on kashmir but in those movies the plight of kashmiri pandits has not been shown because the uh, director has taken the artistic liberty to portray kashmir as he wants so similarly in this movie there have been incidents where uh, it has been shown that how kashmiri pandit community was brutalized and this is a film specifically on the plight of the kashmiri pandits and every incident that has been shown in this film is true it's not imaginary we have 
seen that how Balakrishnan Ganju, a telecom official who was hiding in a rice drum, he was assassinated, he was killed after a Muslim neighbor had given tip off to those terrorists that he was hiding in a rice drum. There was a woman, Kashmiri right. Pandit's woman. You know, Sarilji, but uh, a, a little reflection on Farooq Abdullah's uh, interview here with India Today. If you can elaborate a little more on what he's spoken. Um, for, in fact, this is his first interview that he speaks to India Today. Uh, he says that if, if he is found guilty, then he should be hanged. Uh, an investigation should be carried out. And if he is found guilty or anybody uh, in the National Conference is found guilty, then they must be booked. Uh, this is what he says extensively. If you can elaborate to us what more he spoke in the interview. Well, uh as you heard in this interview, Farooq Abdullah is defending himself, he's defending his party, he's saying that it was not his party, in fact his party has made many sacrifices in Kashmir Valley. And it's true that many national conference workers were assassinated by the terrorists in the Kashmir Valley, many Kashmiri Muslims were also targeted by the terrorists in the Kashmir Valley, but they were not targeted because they were Kashmiri Muslims, they were targeted because they were seen siding with India, while the minuscule minority of Kashmir, that is Kashmiri Pandits were killed for being Kashmiri Pandits, for being Hindus, though that is the difference. And uh, Farooq Kubdullah is saying that a commission of inquiry should be set up and that is what the Kashmiri Pandit community is also saying that a co commission of inquiry should be set up so that all those terrorists who, you know, carried out killings, gruesome killings in the Kashmir Valley in the late 80s and in the 90s, they must be brought to justice. He was specifically talking about Bitta Karate, that who released him, it was the court that was released him and uh, the government is not responsible, he is mm. not responsible. But Nabila, while freeing uh, terrorist Farooq Ahmed Dar alias Beta Karate, the then judge of that court, he had clearly said, Andy Wani, he had said that I know that this man has carried out some of the gruesome killings. It's clear, but the prosecution has totally failed in pursuing these cases. So he clearly uh, puts the blame. The judge puts the blame on the prosecution. So that means that the successive governments in the uh, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir totally failed to pursue these cases very seriously, and that right. is why the court had no option but to free that man. And when so he was released, he was given a hero's welcome in the streets of Srinagar. He was garlanded by the people there. Mm, absolutely unfortunate. This film certainly highlights uh, many of those instances that may have gone ignored. Uh, today, we're seeing a political debate erupting over the film Kashmir Files, while you have uh, a large sections uh, calling this genocide and saying that this film really uh, shows the true plight of Kashmir Pandits and what they went through. Uh, over the years and their struggles. Here is Farooq Abdullah of the National Conference calling this an entire propaganda that's been pushed by the Prime Minister and the Centre. He says if this is a commercial film, then that's fine. But if, this, if they call this a film that is based on true facts, then this film is far away from facts at all. This is the words of Farooq Abdullah while he speaks to India today in a first and exclusive conversation.